Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Randy. I love everything crochet and today I might have had a total fail and that's okay, but I'm still going to share it anyways with you guys. Today I made a platypus, but not any platypus. It is Perry the platypus. As you can see, his hat's not the right color, so it really doesn't give the vibe. He's more so giving the vibe of a parrot on vacation. The tail helps a little bit, but of course when you're looking face on, you really can't see the tail. But yeah, you guys will have to let me know, is this a fail? Did we fail at making Perry the platypus today? I feel like I did. I'm kind of... It's one of those things where I'm like, I'm going to have to walk away. I'm going to have to not look at him anymore because I'm really disappointed in how he looks. I hate wasting yarn. And I hate the fact that I worked really hard to make this for my son. And I just feel like I could have done 10 times better on him. I really just don't think I created the vision. I think without the tail, without looking at the tail, I think I just really dropped the ball on Perry today. I will definitely be making another hat in the near future with darker brown. I just don't currently have darker brown. This was called Use the Yarn You Already Have. It'll look fine. It won't totally look like a straw hat that Perry bought on vacation while he's trying to pretend that he's not Perry the platypus. Yeah, okay. Well, if you guys still like him and want to stay tuned, I appreciate it. And if you love everything crochet, you should definitely subscribe and follow my Instagram down below. But like I said, I already made him. I already filmed the video. I do these like in the moment on like no pattern, no nothing written down. I just go. So let's get started. I did 18 rounds of staying the same. So putting a single stitch in every stitch. And now we're going to start reducing. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker real quick. And by reducing, I'll say put two stitches into one. And what I mean by that is weaving two stitches together just like that. And then we'll go um, the opposite of where we ended. So we'll do seven single stitches. And then once you do those seven single stitches, we'll reduce two stitches into one. So I'm going to weave through the first, get a loop on, weave through the second, get another loop on, and then pull through all of it. And then go seven stitches. And then put two stitches together, seven, two stitches together, all the way around. And we're going to keep reducing. So we'll reduce two stitches, make it one then six stitches, then two stitches, make it one, six, all the way around. All right, and we're gonna keep reducing, so we'll put two stitches, make it one, then one, two, three, four, five single stitches, two stitches, make it one, one, two, three, four, five, all the way around. All right, so I am now going to reduce two stitches into one, then one, two, three, four, then two stitches into one, one, two, three, four, and I have run out of my first skein of yarn so I am going to switch to my second skein. We'll keep reducing, we'll put two stitches into one, then one, two, three, two stitches into one, one, two, three, all the way around. Now before I can properly place the eyes, I do need to make the beak. Now I'm not completely sure how I want to make it. I know I'm going to make two pieces, a top and a bottom, and then I'm going to sew it together. So I'm going to see about how what I want it before coming back and like I said so you can either do what I'm doing where you have like the face on this side or you can put the face on the end here oops dropped one of my things and make it where he's standing on all fours my son wanted him standing on his hind legs so that's the way we're going to do it. So for the top part of the beak, I did a starting chain of seven. Now you could also just do a embroidered piece onto him, but I did want to do like a 3D piece. So I'm going to skip my first stitch, go into the second, 
and I'll do six stitches for my first row and I'm using a six millimeter hook for this and I'm not going to do his beak very long either but we are going to do a short one and then we'll also add a little bit of detail onto here. I did three rows of uh, six and now I'm going to do one row where I reduce two stitches into one, then one, two, then two stitches into one to round out for his beak. And now I'm just going to make a matching piece to be the bottom. Once you have two of those, you just want to take them and weave them together with your crochet or yarn needle, whatever this is properly called. I am now just going to attach the mouth onto the front and then that way I can kind of have a better idea of how I want to place the eyes and then I can also stuff it and go ahead and finish off the top. This detail is optional but I'm just gonna kind of embroider on the top here because he does kind of have that like detailing where his bill goes like up onto his face. I don't know what it's properly called, but kind of like that where he has a little notch on there. So I'm going to add that detailing and that will also kind of help keep the bill pointed down rather than like getting stuck too high up. So that is an optional detail. It's all about if you like the look of it or not. If you don't, of course, you don't have to add it because that is the beautiful thing about crochet is you can kind of make it your own. So I'm going to put a little stuffing in first and then add the eyes because that just makes it a little easier for me to visualize how it'll look fully I done. use 16 millimeter safety eyes and I'll probably add like a white detailing around the eyes, but I'll do that later. Um, so I'm going to put two stitches into one a single stitch, two stitches in one, a single stitch all the way This around. time we're going to put two stitches in one, two stitches in one, two stitches in one, all the way around. After that we're going to weave in and out all the way around in every single stitch all the way around till we get back to the top and pull to seal the head. I'm having to refilm the arms because I did not like how they turned out. I decided they were too wide. So I removed them and I decided they were too far back. So I'm also moving them forward. I think I made them a little too long. I'm trying to make him look a little less penguin-like because I feel like so much of a character's look is based on the eyes. I really wanted to make him look a little more unique and still represent the character. And I think I've just made Perry the Platypus a penguin, but that's okay. So we're going to start with our magic ring for the arms. So we'll start with our magic ring. And we're going to put six stitches into the center. Maybe. If I can. Hold on. After you do the six stitches into the center, we're going to do a double stitch in every stitch. So we'll put two stitches into every stitch. So there's one, then we'll go back into that one and do two. And doing this in every stitch means we'll have 12 stitches total. Now we'll do eight rounds of staying the same. So tw a single stitch in every stitch for 12 stitches to get his arms. And like I said, I put it kind of towards the front and then next we'll be making, well, next we'll be making, I think his uh, tail and his feet, but I of course have to make his hat. So that will be in the future, but yes, because like I said, this is future me fixing his arms. For Perry's tail, I'm gonna do starting chain of 10 and I did a nice long tail to attach it with and then we're just gonna do 
nine stitches, single crochet stitches into this. And I'll come back and let you know how many rows of staying the same I do. All right, so for the end of the tail, I did, well, for the tail in general, I did five rows. And then I'm gonna skip my first stitch, go into the second, go into the third, make one stitch, then one, two, three, four, then go into the second to last and into the last and make a stitch to round off the tail. And then we'll attach it. And I don't wanna make it too long because it will curl over with time. Next, we're gonna make his feet and he has kind of more like square feet with little toes. So that's kind of what I did. I don't need that much of a tail. You do want a little bit of a tail though, cause that will be good for sewing his feet on. And I did a starting chain of six. And then skip the first one, cause that will be his toe. Go into the second one and the third and go all the way down. So you should have had five stitches and then we're gonna flip and go the opposite way. And we're gonna do one, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna do a single crochet on its own like that. Flip our work, go into the single crochet and do five. Oops. Four and five. Sorry, I didn't, I set my <laughs> camera a little too far away here. And then we're gonna flip our work again and just kind of do the same thing where we do one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna do a single, flip our work, go into that one, or actually skip, and only do four. So I skipped the top one and only did four. <clears throat> and then I like to finish off by going across the bottom so my yarn is all together. So there are the feet. This one ended up a little wonky, but that's okay. Now to take this ordinary platypus and turn him into Perry the platypus with one thing, making him a hat. For the hat, we're gonna start with a magic ring And we're gonna do, I think, six stitches in me here. It's either six or eight, depending on how much fit. So let's see. Mine personally, we got one, two, three, it's definitely gonna be six, four, five, then six. And this can get out of the way. Then we're going to put a double stitch in every stitch. I forgot a stitch marker though, so I'm going to add that. So we're going to put two stitches into every stitch. So we'll have 12 stitches total. And basically we're going to recreate the same circle we started with Perry, except this time I'm using brown acrylic yarn. And um, we are just going to increase. So we'll do double stitch, then one, two stitches, one, all the way around, then two stitches, then two, then two stitches, all the way around. And then I'll let you know where we stop at for the hat. Once you do two stitches in one, one, two stitches into one, two, two stitches in one, three, <coughs> two stitches in one, four, 
and then like repeating all the way around. We're now going to do a round where we stay the same, but we're just going to go into the back loops. So we're gonna mark our stitch marker, but especially since this is acrylic, it's a little easier. We're just going to go into the back loops, doing a single stitch in every stitch all the way around because we want to try and make it flat on the top. So Once you do that all the way around, we're now going to do it one more time, only entering the back loops. Again, let me not lose my place here. We're gonna go all the way around. Single stitch in every stitch again, only in the back loops. I already started this because I've never done it before. So um, this time for this round after the last, we're only gonna go into the front loop and we're gonna put two stitches into the first, which I know I'm not on the first, but this is the pattern I'm gonna follow. And then a single stitch, then two stitches in the next, then a single stitch after that. So we can make a nice flat brim for his hat and go all the way around. And for the next round, we're just gonna put a single stitch in every stitch. So we'll remove our stitch marker here and just do a, here's my, oops. It helps if I put my yarn on the right side, a single stitch in every stitch all the way around and then this will be our last round and then i'll do i'm going to add the detail of kind of like pinching his hat so it kind of has the not as much drastic but giving a little pinch like his hat has and obviously if you use a darker brown then it'll look a little closer, but this is what we're Once doing. Once you are done, this is optional. Once I find my thing here, but we can take our inside yarn here, or you can also weave this through and do this if you want. You can also add another round for the brim. If you want it to be a little bit more drastic, you could also make this hat bigger in general to make it fit his head perfectly. But I'm going to kind of do a couple stitches straight across like so to give it a little bit of a pinch in the center because you do see that in his hat. And my hat making is not perfect yet. And then I'm going to go back in with this, kind of do the same thing again. So I'm going to weave this in, there we go, and then I'm going to come through and pinch this so that it kind of has that pinched look and then I can tie my ends together here, but don't pull this too tight where you're like pulling your yarn. And then, yeah. So if you have a better, like, <laughs> hat tutorial, I will not be offended if you follow it. But this is kind of like my quick and easy hat. Like I said, it will look, definitely look more like Perry's hat in a darker color. So there we go. It's pinched, kind of like how his is. You might want to steam this so it flattens. But there once is you're that. fully complete, you can take your rather regular platypus and turn him into Perry the platypus. Like I said, if you have a darker color yarn, he'll look a little more like Perry. He kind of looks like a blue and orange duck on vacation. And that's okay. You know, we tried. We worked with what we had. It's called... This yarn is called... I bought this for another project and I have zero use for it. So we're just going to use it. So I think here in the near future, future, I will go to the Dollar Tree, get darker brown and make it look more like Perry's hat. 
But until then, this is what we got. This is how he looks. He's not exactly what I was hoping for because I really wanted my son to have him where he was the like laying down Perry. I kind of had more of a vision and he decided to pick this Perry. He kind of looks like a parrot. So is this a fail? I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. But either way, if you stay tuned this long, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!